With 23 years' experience in the building industry, Flowcrete were the contractors of choice for the Mancosa expansion project. With the pile caps, columns and beams having been completed, the next order of the day was the pouring of the first floor suspended slab. I'm Mike, this is Flowcrete, Quick Slab and Building Contractors. This is the Mancosa site at 22 Samora Michelle Road. Saturday morning, the ready mix trucks are lined up with 110 cubic meters of concrete waiting to be pumped onto the deck. Supreme floors were contracted to power float the concrete. They have over 20 years experience in the industry. These are hangers used to change direction of the concrete lintels. Flat beams are created around the skylight for additional strength. A double lintel configuration with a 100mm concrete topping of 25 MPA is used to span the 7.5 meters. Once again, the concrete is vibrated to remove the air pockets from the concrete, making it stronger. Top steel is tied over the beams and the cantilevers. Santi keeps a watchful eye on the concreting crew. Once the concrete is almost hard, the power floating machine is put to work. In this case, Supreme Floors power floated through the night into the early hours of the morning. Mancosa directors are eager to inspect the progress on their new building. They tour the site with the Flowcrete directors. On this day, the architect requests that more skylights are added to the roof slab just days before concrete is due to be poured on the deck. CDAT and CDAT architects were tasked to design an energy efficient building, a green building. Um, one of the answers is to have a light well. This area that you see here is a light well. It goes all the way up to the next floor as well. There's going to be no roof over this um, area so that the light can come in and illuminate this whole area, this whole office area. Once again, reducing the amount of artificial light required, reducing your energy bill. So this is a green building, uh, one of the green buildings of the future. This is an eco-friendly building. There's polystyrene in the suspender slabs. There's polystyrene in the walls. Now the reason for using polystyrene in the construction is once again to reduce your carbon footprint on the planet. Um, this is achieved by minimizing the amount of energy required. It works very similar to a cooler box. Um, if you put something warm into a cooler box, it'll stay warm. If you put something cool in, it'll stay cool. So basically, um, it reduces the peaking and troughing of the temperature, keeping it at a, a constant temperature, therefore requiring less energy for heating and cooling purposes. As you can see, we have a polystyrene wall constructed here. Uh, this is in the middle of a seven and a half meter span. So number one, it reduces the amount of dead load onto the suspended slab. And number two, it is for insulation. It reduces the amount of energy required for heating and cooling purposes, thus making this a green building, an energy efficient building. The way these polystyrene walls are constructed, we drill and dowel a Y12 reinforcing bar into the actual suspended slab. The polystyrene panel then gets placed in the center here. Um, a timber shutter is placed on either side and then plumbed into position with those Jackson pipes that you see there. The cavity is then filled with concrete. We vibrate it slightly so that it bonds the polystyrene 
to the concrete and to the reinforcing. Once that has happened, a mesh is placed over the wall and the wall is plastered. This wall is very, very strong. These walls will stop a nine millimeter round from six meters. The Flowcrete Group has been researching and developing polystyrene house construction for the past eight years. To test their strength, we fired a number of 9mm pistol rounds at a target on one of the panels. Our results found that from 6 metres away, it required three rounds in the same area to penetrate the 140mm house panel. Polystyrene homes are incredibly strong and durable. This has been a very difficult build uh, due to the fact that we have a really narrow driveway. All our materials have to come in and out one point. Uh, the driveway is uh, it's four meters and it narrows down to three meters. As you can see, uh, everything is coming up on conveyors. Um, material comes in the bottom, gets brought up on the conveyors to this level. Then the conveyor take it from this level to the next level and so on as the construction proceeds and the building gets higher and higher. If you look up here, you can see that the guys have gone ahead and plastered the soffit of the suspended slab. Now, there are polystyrene blocks. You may not think you can plaster them, but there's actually an endothermic reaction that takes place that bonds the plaster to the polystyrene. If you have a look over here, you will see the polystyrene unplastered. All those tiny little holes that you see in the bottom of the block, that is to help the plaster to adhere to the polystyrene. But once again, the endothermic reaction is a chemical reaction. When you, um, the cement heats up, it bonds itself to the polystyrene and it is very difficult once that bond has taken place for that to actually separate. Once again, this is the light well. Um, as you can see, it's on the, on the second floor level. Um, there's going to be a glass, there's going to be glass panels all the way around the edge that is going to allow the light in to illuminate the first and second floors. If we have a look on the edge here, we've been speaking about this being a really tricky build. We're unable to erect scaffolding on the boundary of these buildings. So we've had to come up with an innovative way of plastering the external face of the building. So what we've done is we've manufactured these brackets. The brackets clip onto the 220 millimeter wall. These plasterers then have a safety harness that gets attached to the suspended slab and they stand on the edge there and they plaster the outer face of the building. As you can see, our access is limited and that is gonna really be a tricky situation when we put the roof on.